Hey guys, it's Josie. Welcome back to my channel. It's finally October and Halloween is upon us and can I just tell you how excited I am for this Halloween? Halloween is my favorite time of year. I have so many great videos planned out for this year so I would just love it if you'd subscribe to my channel so that you'd see all of them. I also already have two Halloween videos on my channel that I filmed last year. I'm gonna leave links to those down below. If you want to see how I did this creepy doll makeup look then just keep on watching. Before I begin with the makeup, I'm gonna pop in a pair of circle lenses that are really gonna make my eyes look bigger and more doll-like. Then we're moving on to the face and first I'm gonna apply a primer. This one is going to reflect light off of my face to make it look whiter and it's also gonna keep my makeup on all night. To get that really pale complexion that porcelain dolls have, I'm going to mix a light foundation with a white cream makeup and I'm going to apply that to my entire face and neck area. After foundation, I'm going in with a full coverage concealer just to highlight underneath my eyes and also on the high points of my face. I'm also painting concealer over my lips because I need them to be completely covered up later on in the video. And to set everything in place, I'm just using a loose translucent powder with a big fluffy brush. I want to create really thin looking brows, just like a doll. So I'm using a dark brown brow pencil and I'm just drawing on my new eyebrows. When I'm happy with my brow shape, I'm going over them with some dark brown eyeshadow just to set them in place. Using some of that concealer, I'm just going to sharpen the lines around my eyebrows and also cover up my brow hairs at the top of the new brows. Now on to the eye makeup. So first I'm laying down a white base all over my eyelid, creating kind of a rounded shape, bringing it above my crease. And then I'm also just adding this in my inner corners, my waterline and lower lash line. Also extending it further down than I normally would just to make my eyes look really big. Then I just need to go in and set that with a white eyeshadow to prevent it from creasing. Hot pink eyeshadow coming up. This one I'm applying with a teeny tiny eyeshadow brush all around the white. Then on the lower lash line towards the inner corner, I'm just dragging the eyeshadow downwards, creating a really sharp edge between the pink and the white. And then I'm just blending out the color with a fluffy brush. Next eyeshadow I'm going to use is this dark plum shade and I'm going to apply this also around the white just to darken the makeup and give it some depth. Next up will be to take my black eyeshadow on an angled brush and with this I'm going to create a line between the white and the purple all around my eyes and slightly smoking that out. I also just want to say that this eye makeup is inspired by a girl called Linky Lutz. I saw a picture of her wearing this kind of look on Pinterest and I got really inspired so I'm gonna link that photo down below. She's amazing so check her out. So right now I'm just grabbing my liquid eyeliner and I'm just gonna draw a regular cat eye. Nothing too crazy. Of course you can go as crazy as you want but I ended up keeping it pretty simple. Now for the super fun part, I'm using a cake eyeliner from Makeup Store and with this I'm just drawing on some super long and dramatic eyelashes starting from that black line. And then I'm just going to go over and define that black line with the same eyeliner as well. Since I want this doll to look really sad, I'm going to draw on some black tears coming down her cheeks. I know, super dramatic. But anyways, I'm just starting out by drawing some longer and thicker lines and then moving on to drawing some thinner, shorter lines in between and also making some teardrop shapes at the end of them. Thank you. 
With the eyes mostly done, I'm grabbing my black eyeliner pencil and just tracing out the lip shape that I want. I started out drawing a really small lip, but then I changed my mind and ended up having a more normal lip, but I still kept my lips looking really thin. Then I just went in with some concealer to clean up the lip shape. And then I added this dark purple lip gloss on top. Now I'm grabbing a light brown eyeshadow and with a small eyeliner brush, I'm going to create two vertical lines from the corners of my mouth and connect them underneath my chin. I'm also going to fade that color out and this is just really going to make my mouth look like one of those old porcelain dolls. Now I'm just using that same shadow and brush to create some more freckles on my face to kind of give some more cuteness to the look. I already have natural freckles, but I felt like I could use a few more. Just make sure to blend your fake freckles out so that they don't look too harsh on your face. I also felt like my pale cheeks could use some color, so I'm taking this pink purple blush and I'm just adding that right on the apple of my cheeks. Finally time for lashes, this is where the magic happens. I'm going to apply these thick ones on my lower lash line and the rest of them on my upper lash line. So of course I'm going to apply that lower lash right on top of that black line so that our eyes are going to look super big. And for my upper lashes, I'm just gluing them as closely to my lash line as possible. And I actually glued on two pairs of lashes and I also applied a third eyelash. That was just a small little one that I applied on my outer corner. For my hair, I just used a curling wand to curl it and I put it up in two pigtails. And I also used bobby pins to pin the pigtails so that they were really close to my head. And I also leaved two pieces out at the front of my face to give it a soft look. Then I'm going to add this headband with a black satin bow just to accessorize. I'm also wearing a plaid dress with a black collar to really go with the look. And of course you can't forget about your little companions, so grab your teddy bear, the older and scarier looking the better, and there you have the finished look! So this is my finished creepy doll inspired makeup look. So I really hope this look inspired you to become a creepy doll on Halloween. And please remember to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my other upcoming Halloween videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! This is my creepy doll wave. It looks like something from my nightmares, right? I'm sorry, dude, but God. <laughs>